Well, that was sobering. For the past three weeks, I hadn't posted anything on this channel because I just wasn't picking anything up from the cards. They made no sense every time I went to run them. And that was because I had completely doubled down, tripled down, quadrupled down, 100% backed my faith in the American people. I mean, I've lived next to you for all these years and I served with American soldiers when I was in the military and I've had a great deal of respect for the American people. And I still do, but you got a problem. And it's been there for a long time. And the problem is, is you have a great swath of your country who is just down with authoritarianism. And what they want is totalitarian rule. I don't know how you're going to fix this or if it can even be fixed. Just one of the things that has led to this moment is back in 2016 and all the other times that Americans have sat there and twiddled their thumbs and said, this is not who we are. This is not who we are. No. Now here's the reality check. This is exactly who America is. This is not some fiction of an electoral college. The majority of the popular vote was for a man who promises a authoritarian, totalitarian, fascist regime. And y'all bought it. Not all of you. Let me correct that. Not all of you bought it. A lot of you went to the ends of the earth absolutely as far as you can to stop this in the ballot box and unfortunately the end of the day as my sister has very wisely says at the end of the day the problem with democracy is that we get the government we deserve there has been this cultivation of the notion that my self-interest is the thing that is top tier my self-interest. Those of us from previous generations, we were raised with an idea that we're also responsible for the common good and that the highest form of service was public service in service of the common good. Unfortunately, that ethos has been trodden to nothingness. And unfortunately, the election results in the U.S. are exactly what that ethos leads to. And I'm not, I'm not being smug here, folks, because I suspect within a year, our mega version of... Uh, Prime Ministerial wannabe will be in power. So, yeah, like everything in the U.S., we're five years behind you. I am not doing any more political tarot. Period. I cannot deal with the, the degree of spiritual negativity that is involved in going into that. I can't do it. So what's going to happen to this channel? I thought I was just going to shut her down. Like, the hell with this. I'm done. But I still love my tarot cards. And I still love uh, the uses for tarot. So the channel is going to take a pivot to what I actually started this channel about. I want to talk about tarot decks and tarot art. I want to talk about, you know, ideas that have influenced how tarot decks go 
and how they work and how people use them. I want to get back to that original vision here before I kind of ducked my toe into the realm of political tarot and quite frankly I really enjoyed it. I got a lot out of it but towards the end like I I just couldn't I just couldn't go into those waters and on previous occasions I'd had to take myself out for a month right because I just couldn't deal with that kind of energy. There are good readers out there who can do it hats off to you. I, you have my absolute respect, but I'm not going to be amongst your numbers. So it's going to take a while for me to get the channel kind of up and running again. I have several scripts that I have written that were like long-term projects, long-form projects that I really wanted to get into, but the effort of keeping up with the daily news cycle ate up all the time and I didn't have time to write or do research or to think about how I was going to present information. Well, now I do because I, at least for the foreseeable future, I will not be doing any more political tarot and I realize that that means I'm going to probably lose a lot of subscribers and you know, God be with you. You know, thanks for being on this journey with me thus far. I appreciate it. I appreciate the s support. I appreciate the comments. You've, you've brightened my day. You've made me laugh and you've made me smile uh, on many occasions. And I think of you warmly. But I can't keep doing this. Like, I just can't. It's not in me. So I'm going to sign off for now. And I am probably going to go back to editing some of those scripts that I have. I talk about art history and symbolism and how it's impacted what we understand as tarot and also how tarot has influenced our understanding of symbols and Jungian psychology and all the kind of weird stuff that I like getting involved in. So on that note, I'll be talking to you later. Bye-bye for now.